What's going on Predators? Today we're going to talk about a lighting system that I think you should really find in your pack whenever you're out in the hunt or out in the woods, camping, anything like that. Working around the ranch, doesn't matter. This thing is incredible and that is the Nightcore MH40 Pro. They sent me this to test and I absolutely fell in love with it. This thing is amazing. It's long lasting, super bright, but also very flexible. So those times you don't need it to be the most intense light in the world. It has many different settings to really adapt to the situation you find yourself in. They also sent me this, the NU25 headlamp that I'm going to be doing another video on very soon. This is also a really great headlamp. It's waterproof, very lightweight. It's rechargeable. Uh, it is also super intensely bright. I was really shocked at how awesome this thing is. So we're going to do another review of this coming up soon in its own video. Uh, but right now, again, we are talking about the MH40 Pro. So let's talk about the specs of this thing. It comes in this nice magnetic opening box here. This has got a super bright intensity at the max intensity is 3,500 lumens. Uh, and that will, the foot beam is focused to a point where it will shine up to 1,300 meters or 1,400 yards, so which is incredible. Uh, so it comes with a rechargeable battery. Uh, it is a nice large battery. This thing is waterproof. So like I say, you can dunk it in the water, physically just dunk it in water and it'll be waterproof up to two meters under the water, which is incredible again. So you don't have to worry about rain and weather and the elements and all that stuff. This is gonna be great. For the testing on this thing, I decided to travel out to the ranch in DOS because it is way darker out there. This thing, uh, I wanted to make sure that it is as black as I can get to really test out how intensely bright this light is and how well it's going to work. But before we get into all that, real quick, I just wanted to thank the sponsors of this video, which is First Form, Crafted Archery, and Easy Veins. So if you're like me, you're looking to get in fit for your next elk hunt or whatever you're doing outdoors and you want to stay in shape and you just want to live better. Uh, then that's where First Form comes in. They make some incredible supplements that are going to help you be on the top of your game and be in your best shape of hopefully of your entire life. So I've started taking a new supplement that is the collagen. I've got the collagen and the red velvet cake flavor. Being carnivore, I don't eat red velvet cake anymore, so it's nice to be able to indulge in these flavors without any bad stuff in it. It's all cold processed ingredients so that you make sure that it's going to do the best for you could be the most absorbable and it's also not going to hurt your gut. So I've started taking the collagen supplement as well as the liposomal vitamin D supplement and these things are great. It gives me tons of energy and it helps those joints. I'm going to be 40 here in January and so my joints uh, you know definitely need all the help that they can get and so the collagen supplement is going to help with that. It's also going to help with my hair. My hair is falling out like it's on fire. It's all this testosterone I got. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways it's going to really help you know make sure that your skin and your joints are healthy and flexible and that you can also recover better from any injuries that you've got. All right, so we're gonna do a quick unboxing here of the MH40 Pro. And so basically this comes in, it's like I said, this magnetic box. So it's super easy to open up and you're greeted instantly by all of your gear. So one of the things that's really cool about this, like I say, is it's super skinny like here. So it's a really easy to get a good grip on. It's not too thick or anything like that. Makes it easy to grab just about anywhere. Uh, it's got a nice kind of knurled handle here so it's got a good grip on it even though it's all metal uh, it feels like a really dense aluminum uh it's like i say it's really really durable um, i've already dropped it a couple times i left a kind of a couple of little marks on there but even dropping it on concrete like i say it didn't mess up the flashlight which is really awesome and it's a good sign that it's going to be a very durable piece of gear as well so you got the tail button on here okay so i push that that turns it on okay then I've got the mode button here, which is a, uh, makes it to where I can change the brightness. So I've got four levels of brightness here. You can see how intensely bright that gets. So, so this is the first mode here. This is the regular kind of dim mode, level one, I'm gonna call it. Uh, and then it goes to two, three, and four. Four is the level where it outputs the 3,500 lumens. And it is so bright, I can feel, like even this far away, I can feel that it's warm. It's got a warmth to it, which is crazy cool. Uh, also with this mode button here, if I push and hold the button, you see it turns on strobe mode if i keep holding it so it'll do strobe and then it also goes to uh, sos mode here or uh, just a flashing mode so this is kind of like a locator beacon just to find where you're at and if i get an i there's strobe mode there's your sos mode so it flashes sos s o 
S. Ah, there we go. So then I just hit a button again, again, now we're back in low power mode. So two buttons here really control all the functions of it. Uh, what's really cool about this though, is uh, I'm gonna turn it on here so I can see that here. And I'll shine it kind of in the box so you can see that it's on. But it also comes with a remote control. So you can see it's on here. I'm gonna push this button. So this is a dual stage button, which is really cool. So if I just tap it once, like gently, I'm hitting the first button, that's how I switch the mode. Okay. So then if I push it all the way in, you can hear double clicks. So now, like I say, if I push it all the way in, it turns it on and off. And if I just click it once, then... It... So the first stage controls the mode and the second stage controls the power. If I push and hold it, also I can activate strobe mode. So another thing that you can do with this here too is pretty cool is I can hit this, if I turn it off and I hit this button right underneath here, this, this is a third button. So it's stage one and two stage here. You can see that this little blue light will flash here periodically on here to let you know it's synced up with the uh, remote. But if I push and hold this here, it's just like a temporary on, right? So temporary on and off. So if I just need to temporarily light up the area, I can push and hold that. Uh, let go and it turns off so really cool that it's got a remote control okay i'm going to set that aside for a second i've already opened this so i'd like to say some of this is going to be out of order but the next little box here is my manual box and this also has the sheath for it so if i take this out of the box here this is my kind of belt clip and sheath and all that stuff and basically this slides this handle slides right down in there and this is kind of like a protective sheath or case for it okay so this is going to a couple things. One, I, I can use this strap, a strap loop to kind of use for like molly or something like that. And then underneath that as well, it also has another loop right here. So I can use it as like put my belt through there or something if I want to. Or if I just want to slide it over the top of my belt, I can just tuck this down in there, Velcro it to it. Now what I like about this remote as well is while it's in this sheath here, I've got a, I can mount it with this. So it comes with a piece of, damn. So it comes with a piece of 3M at 300 LSE uh, Velcro here. So I can Velcro that to something. Uh, but also on the back of the remote, there's Velcro and I can just stick it right here in my sheath. So I've got access to it all the time. Okay, so that way I can keep it with me wherever I take the flashlight. So next inside here, like I say, is the manual. The manual resides in here as well. Okay, this is a very detailed manual. I don't need a manual, it's just got two buttons, it's fine. All right, next in here, which actually this stuff comes in this little box right here that's underneath the remote control. Uh, and it's got this right here. These are actually uh, Picatinny mounts, so I can mount that remote like so. And slide these little rubber pieces on there. And then I can actually mount the remote to a Picatinny rail. That is pretty cool. Something I would not expected to see on there, a lot of thought to detail. Another thing it comes with here as well, if I take these off, it comes with these cool little branded straps that I can use. You can see in the remote control there how it's got these little slots there and there. I can actually put these straps on there and I can strap this remote to something as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the field testing. I took this to the ranch and it has the darkest nights I've ever seen out there. Literally, you can see the Milky Way in the middle of the night. So I took this out to the ranch to really show how bright this thing can get. Okay, so here's our low power mode again. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button on the front here. It's gonna kick it up a notch. Okay, so this is the next power. I think there are four power modes. You can see that beam kind of shine in there. I'm gonna kick it up one more. You can see already we are super bright and we still have one mode to go. This thing is quite insane if you ask me. I'm gonna zoom in over here so you can see that it's easily 100 yards away and it's lit up like it's daytime over there. Um, just for those that are like, you know, camera nerds like me and you want to see, okay, well, you know, based on the settings here, how bright is this? So right now I've got the camera running. It's at F2.8. That's the aperture, how much light it's letting in. And I've got it set at one two hundredth of a second. 
and we are running at ISO 16,000, which this thing goes up like in the 200,000, so not bad at all, okay? Now we're gonna kick it up to the high mode, and this thing is absolutely insanely bright whenever we do that. So let me get the button here, rotate and ready. So this thing is insanely bright here. This is a high power mode. You can see it is lit up like daytime around here. And just to show you, yes, this is coming from the MH40 here. This isn't some kind of gimmick here. This thing is shining like a spotlight. It is so bright. You can see this B box is way over there. I'm gonna zoom way in here. Those are about 130 yards away from where I'm standing right now. So those are nice and bright there. All right, so we're gonna go through all the different power levels here. So this is level one right here. This is low power mode. Next up is number two, okay. Number three, and number four, this is the high power mode. I can shine this, I, you can't quite see it up there on the mountain just because it's, you know, the camera doesn't capture light the same way our eyes do. Oh, there you, yeah, you can see it. There you go, this is a little bit more like my eyes are seeing it here. Probably a thousand yards away right there. You can see the tip top of the mountain right there. Hopefully you can see that. Come on, focus camera. There we go. So that, that is probably about a thousand yards away right now. I've got a 200 uh, millimeter zoom lens here. So it does get a little bit warm. Uh, like I said, the electronics and everything inside the light gets a little bit warm whenever it's in that high power mode for a good amount of time. I'm going to bring it back down here so the camera can focus a little better. I'm just going to give you another example over here. Boom. So we got this little log over here. Again, I'm going to turn it. This is close. So that's about 20 yards from me. So we got low power, medium power, medium plus. You can see that thing is just whited out whenever it's on that bright mode. So really super awesome flashlight, man. This thing would work great in a number of situations. And hey, man, if you want to run this thing in the high brightness mode, it'll warm your hands up a little bit too. So cold environments, it's not gonna be a problem at all. Uh, I don't see any warm environments at night, but it is about uh, 70, 80, 75 degrees out right now, 72 degrees or so. Um, so awesome, awesome flashlight, guys. Thanks guys for tuning into the video. I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. Doesn't cost you a thing. And uh, like I said, what do you think about the MH40 Pro? The thing is impressive. A very impressive piece of equipment and I think I'm definitely going to carry this around with me everywhere I go especially whenever I'm going on hunts uh, whenever I'm going out in the field because the thing is lightweight there's no you know real downside to having this thing on me uh, and USB rechargeable I mean, this thing is really great so uh, thanks for liking and subscribing to the video guys again if you haven't go ahead and subscribe down there and as always keep defying the odds see ya